sun. You can spend hours on this uh, part. A thirsty brush is preferred to create that kind of a furry look. We call it uh, accumulation of the uh, ink technique. Now uh, I'm going to do the background. use this one since I got so used to this one today. I use a little ink with water or you can mix some uh, glue in it to make it uh, light gray. And uh, remember that the darkness of the stroke should not exceed the monkey. Um, so I'm going to dilute it further. First, the the stroke in front of the uh, others paint first. Okay, that's the basic idea. So you do this uh, front stroke first, front uh, branch first. This is a very uh, spontaneous a sweeping style, so you have to do very uh, fluent without a hesitation. the trunk uh, behind. I think it's a uh, cypress tree because there's no scare kind of uh, texture. So it's all paralyzed. Uh, try to make the brush split. Maybe I just use a split brush. <clears throat> Just try not to go outside the frame. That's good. This is called a flying white. See this?
try to stay inside the frame. There's a knot, knot here. We'll do the wine there. We cannot really copy just the we're not trying to reproduce it, I right? try to uh, grasp the essential idea, not the exact. So basically, this is what we Start with the leaves. The cypress tree leaves. Remember, when you load brush, some uh, spread brush has a uh, dark, some uh, still water or light. So let it uh, blend on the brush and on the paper. So it creates a more interesting effect. Dot out the knot, not the, the hole. And uh, this is really important. So now again, it should not be in the center of the, the trunk. <coughs> so you can this dark part, you can do that later. I'm using a smaller knife, uh, brush to do the branches behind the monkey. Notice the uh, kind of X cutting uh, motion is the typical uh, southern song style. This is where the uh, when this uh, monk Bushi uh, lived. So he is a very typical southern song painter. This is uh, some plants, wine uh, of cursive uh, strokes. So just an outside uh, painting outside of the frame.
dark and the light contrast. And, uh, wet and dry. Okay, now uh, time to stop think before we uh, we do it. I'm going to uh, add some more water or moisture wash because uh, the the pre mount screw is kind of hard, but uh, we have. Uh, uh, to be very careful while not you know, dripping to make some uh, washes to the to the leaves so to give more depth and uh, kind of mist look. Cypress tree dots with split brush. It's not going to drip. out the atmosphere. The wash creates mist. So we got dry and wet contrast.
I'm going to entitle it or inscribe it the first character is uh, Fang or Mimic it's very common to learn the master by mimicking Fang Mu Xi Mother and mom and the baby. Hold or Yuan. Kipons. Picture. Another one? Yes. We also uh, can add a side chop to help hold the qi together. Put, uh, decide to put a side seal here so to block the, uh, the qi from uh, uh, going outside the picture. balance. Uh, together with the names sales, you can see how it's a uh, uh, part of the composition, like a dessert after a banquet. The seal serves as a, uh, the last touch of a complete picture. Okay, I hope uh, everybody have enjoyed this uh, uh, scroll painting and uh, I would like to um, see your own exercises based on the masterpiece and uh, the handouts I'm going to give you uh, with step-by-step uh, uh, -step instructions. If you're interested in learning Chinese brush painting, um, you can take a class online uh, from me. Uh, you can sign up at any time. It's an ongoing class and we have a monthly video lesson like this every month in addition to the seven core classes. Thank you. Goodbye.